Wow, look at those stats. You'd think with a graph like that, Nova would be one of the worst heroes in the game. I'm not gonna pretend that Nova is a great pick. She has to work harder than other assassins for the exact same results. But I also think that every hero has its place. Even you, Hammer. So when it comes to hero choice, I just have one question. Do you want to have fun? Or do you want to win? Because let me tell you, as a Nova enjoyer, I can say firsthand that she is a lot of fun. She's a fantastic scout, does good damage, and can set up or secure picks. But if you want wins, you gotta realize, even though each hero has a place, sometimes that place is the bench. Nova's wave clear is atrocious. It's extremely bad. Um, actually, once she hits level 10, no, 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 it's bad. I saw Thingwub's video. If your plan is to wait half the game before you start clearing waves, no matter how many guides I make, I genuinely cannot help you. That ultimate won't even fully clear minions for a few levels anyway. Nova cannot do reliable area damage until explosive round at 16. Games end at level 16. Nova also has commitment issues. She's not as slippery as Zeratul or as disruptive as Valera. She has damage and range. Sure, you can block skill shots with clones. Sure, going invisible can shake off some heroes, but step out too far or lose track of the enemy and you'll get an express trip back to your core. While you can get pretty sneaky with her, in a fight, she can't position as aggressively as other assassins because she can't afford to misstep. But worst of all, Nova can be countered by the most powerful and ubiquitous ability in the game. Hey guys, Nova's here. She's not that threatening on her own. Solo kills with Nova tend to have happen more because the other guy fucked up. Alone, her plan is to whittle the enemy down bit by bit until the last poke is fatal. Smart opponents won't let that happen. All that poking looks great on the scoreboard, but all the hero damage in the world means nothing if you can't collect on that juicy XP debt. So why play Nova, and why can she be so frustrating? It's simple. The abuse of matchmaking. Specifically, solo queue, quick match, no healer, pub stomping. With her long range and fast hitting abilities, Nova can get so much free damage on her enemies over and over again that she can literally poke them to death. Without a healer, the enemy has to hearth or tap, which isn't as good as a kill but can buy your team some time. Just know that all your plays are built on a foundation of lies. In real games, Nova struggles. Teams will always have a healer and do a pretty good job at keeping them safe, either by blocking your damage or counter-engaging your squishy ass. If you're still set on succeeding as a sneaky sniper, a switch in mindset is necessary. Nova is not an assassin. Nova is a support hero. The best thing you can do while playing Nova is to help your friends. From providing vision to slowing the enemy and showing up where you're least expected. Vision is powerful. People can turn off comms, but they can't turn off their eyes. Showing your team where danger is provides that information to everyone in a clear, unambiguous, non-tilting way. What happens after that? Meh. At level 4, Nova can even contribute to lane pressure through ganking. This is the best bribe skill in the game. Stacks are pretty easy to come by if you keep up with the rotations and ganks. What's special about this talent is when Nova buys out a camp, it respawns 50% faster. What does this mean? Two things. One, you want to bribe camps on your side of the map. But I could steal enemy camps so quickly, isn't that better? I'm getting there, stop typing so fast. First, you need to understand that more is better than less. Let's say you're getting camps on cooldown. There's a three minute time frame between the first camp and the second. But if you bribe as Nova, you can squeeze another camp in there at a minute 30 seconds. If in a specific time frame, you can send two camps down a lane where your opponents can only send one, which side has more pressure? I'm not saying to not bribe far camps, just be aware of the timing. The second thing to note is that if you're angling to bribe the enemy camps to deny them before the objective, chances are the enemy is already there and you might be better off rolling up in force to take it as a team. I know the skill is called Covert Mission, but don't be a hero. This isn't Metal Gear. Nova's abilities aren't terribly complicated, but a bit of nuance is required to get the most out of them. Pinning Shot is Nova's most dangerous ability. I'm serious. Do not underestimate how dangerous this slow can be. It is one of the easiest and safest to apply in the game. Just point and click. If you scoff at its power, I look forward to using you as footage. It starts fights, peels for your friends, and ends fights. 40% slow means enemies can't dodge and can't run away, letting your team follow up and allowing Nova to position for maximum damage. And position you must, gotta land those snipes, and there's 9001 ways those shots won't connect. Snipe is a stacking, high damage, long range, super fast skill shot. Each consecutive hit with this ability stacks 6% more damage on top of it, with a bonus 25% at a full 5 stacks. That is 55% more damage. It gets big. Just don't miss. A hasty shot early in a teamfight can turn you from a genuine threat to a piece of eye candy. You're a sniper. Be patient. 
You can use pinning shot to help you aim. A hollow decoy. Clones, wonderful. Free stacks for the enemy team. Still, they're meant to be expendable. On top of providing excellent vision, these clones can block hostile skill shots. Throwing them in the way of Stitch's hooks or Li Ming's orbs or directly on top of a garage will always be satisfying. The decoys can also be used to fool enemy players, but not like Samuro. Duping people with Nova is a training process. Not a parlor trick. Mimicking clone behavior is an art. As well, you can plop a decoy in one lane while rotating to another, surprising the overextended offlaner who swore they just saw you on the minimap. Ghost protocol is your... escape. It doesn't actually help you escape. This ability drops a clone on your position and instantly activates stealth. It's not totally useless, but in terms of getaways, it sits firmly in the category of better than nothing. Nova does get a minor speed boost when stealth that can help you barely avoid skill shots, but always and forever your best survival tool is good positioning. Precision Strike. Finally some area damage. Global area damage. Precision Strike blasts an area after a short delay for good damage. While not as deadly as other ultimates, it still hurts and can be used to influence the direction of your enemies. Its global range also enables Nova to assist in macro plays, deleting large late game minion waves or slowly chipping down enemy structures. Triple tap. Oh boy. People got opinions about this one. Always pick triple tap. Never pick triple tap. So which is it, Reddit? This ultimate fires three shots that add up together for massive damage. More than enough to finish off weakened heroes. Or, if you can do math and you're feeling a bit cheeky, you can use it to bully squishy heroes. That's why people say to always pick it, because it finally lets Nova secure her own kills. Sure, fine, okay, kills are good. But that is surface level value. Triple Tap's true strength lies a bit deeper than that because everyone is waiting for this ult. It is deliberate, loud, and dangerous. Triple Tap demands a reaction from the enemy team, instantly changing their priorities, pressuring your target to retreat or forcing their friends to RP as secret service agents. Be aware, it can also be blocked by buildings. Everyone reacts to this ultimate. Everyone. Knowing when to lock in and disrupt the enemy team fight can open up gaps in your opponent's plays, giving your team space to make their moves. You don't even need to get the kill. Sometimes, all it takes to win a fight is a change in focus or a moment of hesitation, which this ultimate can provide. So is Nova a good hero? It depends. If you play a lot of solo queue quick match, you're more likely to run into good Nova games, but don't let that success fool you into thinking she's good in every situation. Besides, matchmaking is fickle. In games with tanks and healers, you'll struggle twice as hard for half the results. But those other games... Those other games you'll stomp around with impunity, ambushing heroes, poking them to death, filling their hearts with fear and anguish. You'll never forget your first pub stomp and it will forever be the reason you steal glances at Nova on the hero roster. Fondly remembering the times she easily blew heroes away.